Okay, so now that you've connected your sales channel and you've connected your bookkeeping system, the next step is to complete the accounts and taxes wizard. So first of all, you're gonna select an account for each of the transaction categories that Link My Books has broken down the different types of transactions into. There on the left-hand side, it's got stuff like Amazon sales, you've got refunds, you've got loans, you've got fees, you've got seller fees, you've got all sorts of different things. You can hover over these little icons to check exactly what each of these things are. We tell you what type of transaction they are, and then we allow you to select one of your existing chart of accounts, or you can use our default chart of accounts. So in this example, I've chosen 200 sales, but our default would be LMB1 Amazon sales. So if you select to use our defaults, then we will add them into your chart of accounts. And that's what most users will do because then it's nice and easy for their account to see all the information that's come in from Link My Books. With that in mind, we'll move to the next step. So in the second step, we're going to basically select whether our company is UK VAT registered. I'm going to select that it is. In the third step, we're going to choose to say whether we sell standard rated products only for UK VAT purposes, or if we have some zero rated and reduced rated products only. I'm going to say that I only sell standard rated, but just so that you're aware, we do support zero rated and reduced rated products as well. Please reach out to the support team if you've got any questions on that. If you're a QuickBooks user, then you'll also need to tell us which bank account, Amazon or eBay or whichever sales channel it is, deposit the funds into and which card or bank account they take any funds from if you have a negative seller balance. So here we have an example of an Amazon account where the region is Europe. So there's lots of different marketplaces. What we're going to do here is we're going to select a positive balance deposit account where Amazon deposits the money into and a negative balance charge account where Amazon takes the money from. So in this instance, for my UK sales, Amazon UK sales, I'm going to put them into my GBP bank account. Whenever Amazon charges for a negative seller balance, they also take them from the GBP bank account. For my European sales, I'm going to put them down as the European bank account. Now you may have those going into your GBP bank account, so it is entirely up to you what you select here. Just as an example, for my German sales, I'm also going to say that Amazon charge my Amex card. So what we do here in this dropdown, or in both dropdowns, sorry, is we pull through the the bank accounts and credit cards. So you'll be able to select whatever one you need in order to suit your business. And then you can move on to the final step. And on the next step, we're gonna go through the tax rates. So on this page, it might look a bit overwhelming, but we've broken it down into pre-Brexit sales. So they are sales that occurred before the 1st of January. So if you haven't got any intentions of importing that data into Link My Books and then onto Zero or QuickBooks, then you can just skip through that section. Um, then you've got post Brexit sales and then you've got fees and other transactions. So all of the tax rates are pre-filled with our default ones based on the answers you've given so far, but they are something you need to check with your accountant just to make sure that they are suitable for your business. And again, on this page, we do tell you in a bit more detail what each of these things are if you hover over them to give you a bit of an insight. Once you're happy with all your tax rates at the very bottom, you can tick to say that you've checked them with your accountant and confirm. So if you click confirm there, then you'll be done the setup.